Hello AP Physics. This is an introduction to the lab equipment we'll be using this year. Uh, the company is called Vernier and the interface we'll be using is called the LabQuest Stream. And what this piece of equipment does is it connects to my computer and it allows me to connect sensors. Here's an example of the sensor we'll be using in our first lab. This is a motion detector and we'll give you more information on that in a little bit. But basically what we're going to do is we're, we're going to take our sensor, whatever it may be, it may detect motion, it may detect velocity, it may detect temperature. Uh, anyway, some of you may have used uh, LabQuest uh, devices in other classes, but basically all you do is you connect the sensor to the lab stream device. There we go, it's connected now. And then I'm going to connect my lab stream to my computer with a USB cable. So here's my USB cable that's running over to my computer and I'm going to plug it in to the computer. There we go. And now let's go look at our computer and see what it, it looks like on our computer interface. All right, so I'm going to go into my start menu and type in Logger Pro to find the software Logger Pro. That is the software that goes along with the Vernier equipment. You will download that uh, from a link that I send to you. And I'm going to click on Logger Pro. And this is what it looks like. You see up here in the upper left corner, it says no device connected. This is when I connect my sensor, or excuse me, I connect the LabQuest stream to the computer. And Logger Pro automatically detects the equipment right there. You can see in the corner now it says that something is connected, that the lab stream is connected. That is the icon for it. And you see here I get two graphs, position and velocity. And this collect button is now ready for me to take some data. If I have my motion sensor, I'll just point it at the wall here and I'll hit record. I'll hit collect. And as I move the sensor away from the wall, now you can see here I got some glitches. Those glitches are just bad data points. So it's probably a good idea just to take the data over again. I'm going to try just holding my hand over the top of the sensor and I'll move it up and down. So here, let's hit collect. Closer, further, closer, further. And now this little button with the or this icon with A stands for auto scale. I can click on that and there you can see the motion of my hand as a function of time. So this is our motion detector sensor and we're gonna use it in our first lab to graphically analyze the motion of several different objects.